Hi, I'm Nick. Here to tell you about the free video editing software called BVideo. I've personally used BVideo for five or six different school projects and it works amazingly. BVideo is also 100% free, so everything you see me do in this video, you can do right after if you'd really like to. First up, I'm going to be talking about recording. So there will be a red button with the word record beside that. You can press that to get started. There are three main ways to record. If you go to the video section, you'll see them. You have your screen recording, which will show everything that your PC screen sees, and it'll record it. Then there's your webcam recording. You use that if you want to like show your face or show something in the real world for your video. You can record them both at the same time as well. Then there's voice recording. If you want to if you want to record a voiceover in a video separately, I get that. I've done that before and it works well. It's a little bit more like video and audio tracks, but it's definitely manageable. Now I'm going to be talking about adding media. Media is basically any little clips or like images that you would like to add. There's the button that says add media. You can click that, then go to stock media, and you can search for whatever you want. Let's say for example, I want a video of money, so I'm going to type it into the search bar, and then hit enter, and it'll come up with a bunch of videos for money. You could also change it for images or videos if you would like. So let's say I'm going to take this image and I would like it in my video. Then I'm going to press add and it will add to my total media. I can then drag and drop it into my thing and it'll be in your video. You can also add music by doing the same thing by going to add media, stock media, but instead of clicking videos or images, let's just close this. We're going to go to audio, so you can get a bunch of different little, you can get a bunch of songs or sound effects like this one's called Cinematic Whoosh. It sounds like that. I'll play it again. Yeah. Hit, you can, hit cancel if you don't want anything. You could also add text. So hit the add text. You can get motion text, so like, let's go, let's look at this out with a puff text. It kind of fades in there. Or you can get just static text that doesn't move. So let's say I want the sample text, I'm going to hit add. And if we want it in our video, we're going to add it to video track 2. And if you want to edit the text, which you probably will, you're going to right click it. Right, you're going to double click it, and then in this box where it says sample text, you can delete that and add whatever you would like. So I just put text because it's easy. So yeah. Finally, I'm going to be talking about splitting things, or basically it's cutting a clip. So for example, in my clip, it's this one starts here and it goes to the end. I was going good, and then I messed up, and I don't want that mess up to be in there. So I'm going to go up to where I would like it to start the cut, I'm going to select this, and you know, oh yeah, it's going good until like right here. That's where I first mess up. You can hit the split button, and it'll separate your clips into two, so I can move this out of the way. You can see now it was one, but now they're two separate, and then if you just continue on after this, let's say... I got better here. I can split it again here. So then this section that I've highlighted in the blue, it's what it's where I've messed up. So now it's in three the one big section is now in three different sections. So then this is where I messed up. So if you hit backspace, it's no longer there. And then drag your second clip where you continue going good. And then you can merge it. So now they're gonna be continuous. One more thing before I go, I'm going to show how to get rid of white or black backgrounds from images. For example, my blue arrow has a white background, and let's say I don't want that. So what you're going to do is you're going to double click the image, then you're going to go on the left side, it says keying. So it, right beside the hashtag, if, the, if your image has a white background, you're going to type six Fs. That's kind of the computer code name for white. 
and if it has a black background, you're gonna type six zeros. This is the computer code name for black. I know a lot of my PUs have had issues with this, so this should be really important to your WeVideo journeys. This concludes my instructional video. Thank you for watching.